Alright guys, welcome back. Um, yeah, uh, before I get started on what I was going to show you with the F-15, uh, not going to get into any drama with this guy. Um, I will say mine does have all wood, all ply bulkheads, uh, which you can see from my build thread uh, with this guy. So, um, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, you know, I sent, you know, I'll do whatever I can. Uh, give them any kind of info I can to help them out figure out what it is, but that's a, that's about it. So, anyways, back to the F-15. Um, kind of slow going. I'm just not. I'm just doing a little bit at a time during the day because it just takes a little while because I got a kid running around and stuff like that. So, um, but what I did do today, glued these guys on. Um, had to. They just kind of cut a general hole. I had to actually cut one side a little bit to kind of shift this thing over and get it lined up like it should have been uh, but no big deal I went ahead and uh, put the uh, exhaust nozzles on got all those drilled uh, the holes drilled and the screws put in and everything I took them back off to drop some uh, some thin CA in the screw holes to hold those uh, uh, so they just got to go back on uh, you do have to use this end to get the pipe in so these do have to come off when you put the uh, exhaust pipes in um, finished up uh, my UATs you kinda see them see it there now like I said this is just screws off um, only thing I wish I would have done is probably made this brass took me a little bit longer to get it to drop down into the uh, the actual thing a little bit more but it's going to be sitting kind of at an angle so it should be fine like that just something I'm I'm trying out I've always wanted to make one of these since I started doing the jet things uh, probably not even ten dollars worth of stuff there uh, to make one and I use like I said I use the the, the larger diameter stuff uh, just for uh, more high flow but probably not required uh, I do have all the, the clunks ready for the um, mains. This is just uh, this little short guy here is just a, a, cl a plug for that extra hole. I'm going to be running one one line out of each tank, and then the, the vents are going to be on these right here on the top. So, uh, one thing I got to do is cut the tubing, put the clunks on, safety wire everything put them in. I may have to open these up just a little bit to get those clunks in there uh, but not much. Uh, but that's done. Uh, I went ahead and glued in the the uh, main fuel cell uh, trays. Uh, I use the stock uh, ply. They're real beefy um, but those mains are heavy with the uh, you know uh, with the amount of fuel they hold so that's currently drying and once those are dry, I'll go ahead and um, put the fuel tanks together and get them in there, get them strapped down. Um, I'll probably, I also did, you can't see it, but underneath, like right underneath this bulkhead here, uh, running in this, um, this rail, you know, which is right about here on both sides, I went ahead and glued in a block, a ply block there. There'll be another one up here. And that'll be kind of the hard point um, for my uh, for the missile that I put here. Here, there'll be one here and here, which I I can get to these uh, with those in. But I had to go ahead and glue that one that one block in because it gets covered up by the uh, the fuel tray. So uh, that's about it for now. Once I get uh, get the uh, nozzles back on get the tanks in um, that will bring me up to uh, getting the uh, turbine rails uh, put into place and uh, I'll start uh, the mod for the wings to put the pylons on um, with the turbines laid in here the holes are going to be pretty far over to this edge because it's a, they're, you know they're, they're, they're wide it's the way the clamps are I mean the clamps are like you know the edge of the turbine all right, just, I don't have it over here. Let's just show you this. Like the turbine sits here, and the, you know if the clamp wasn't so wide, you know it wouldn't be a problem. But the clamp is so wide, 
that the actual mounting holes are way close to the edge. So what I thought about doing is just taking these center ones and these these rails because I've got this I've got some ply that I've had and I just thought about tracing these and cutting out new uh, new rails and just have the area where the turbine mounts just kind of cut it out and give it a bulge on this side so on, and it'd be like that on both rails so you, when you cut this out I can actually cut this out for the, the thing and then it actually have more area here uh, so it wouldn't be so close to that edge but that all depends on how close it actually is once I get them mounted in and drill the holes see how close and how much um, how much material is there to buy a hold of uh, I may just leave it it's not going to, like I said the turbines fit in there perfect I don't actually have to cut the rail uh, or anything to get the turbine in there it's just the mount is so wide so uh, but other than that uh, like I said I'll get back to it uh, RCU is still down with the pictures I've got tons of pictures uh, but till then you guys have a good one and uh, yeah no drama you know hundreds of these things fly not, 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 I'm not just talking about the 14 but plenty of the jets flying out there and you get one or two crashes and it becomes a big deal but anyways you guys have a good one